up, Virgo? How you doing? Virgo Horoscope, month of May 2020. You're quick to jump to conclusions or make certain deductions as your mind moves rapidly from one thought to another during the Sun-Mercury conjunction on May 4th. You want to react immediately to social media posts, but it's best to let certain news sink in before responding. Even though you can delete your comments, you can't guarantee that no one will see them while they're still up. Your power plant Mercury pairs up with quick-witted Gemini. The other sign, it rolls. On the 11th, so the next couple weeks are your widow, widow, are your window of opportunity to talk to the people you need or want to talk to. Ask your boss about the new position that's opening up or talk to a crush you've been too shy to approach. You aren't at a loss for words now. The sun enters Gemini on May 20th, welcoming in a month of curiosity and versatility. This is a time to view things from a new perspective and expand your knowledge. Gaining a new understanding of the world is priceless. Mercury enters sensitive cancer on the 28th, and for the near future you might take off-handed comments very personally. Although you can be very critical of yourself, it's different when others voice similar opinions. Alright, Virgo, here we go. So, whoa, how you doing, though? <laughs> Leave a comment. Let me know. Present your current situation, Virgo, in May of 2020. Page of Wands. Aggression, defiance, conviction. Going after what you want, being sure, holding out against pressure. Past issues of the basis of the situation, Virgo, in May of 2020. Page of Swords. So, Page of Wands is a young fire sign. Page of Swords is a young air sign. Page of Swords, use your mind, be truthful, be just, have fortitude, analyze the problem, right or wrong, act honestly, face problems squarely. That's the past issues based on the situation. You feel like you are doing that and people are still giving you a hard time. Immediate past, what is behind you Virgo in May of 2020? Ten of Swords. Bottom me out, victim mentality, martyrdom. Having nowhere to go but up, putting your own interest last, bemoaning your fate. Crowning thoughts, your thoughts regarding the situation, Virgo, May of 2020. Queen of Cups. It's Pisces energy. Loving, tender-hearted, intuitive, psychic, spiritual. 
turns away wrath with caring, is open to the unconscious, is easily moved by another's pain, fills oneness with God in the universe, is always turned tuned or is always tuned to emotional undercurrents. That's what's on your mind in May. The immediate future was about to happen, Virgo, in May of twenty twenty. Temperance in reverse, half the energy, half the power, half the meaning, somewhat true, somewhat not, or opposite of what I'm saying. It's up to you, your personality, your per perception. Temperance. Balance, health, combination. Fiddle, uh, finding the middle ground, renewing energy and vigor, experiencing harmony, gathering together what is needed. Your fears, emotional concerns regarding the situation, Virgo, in May of 2020. The world. Integration, accomplishment, involvement, fulfillment. Reinforcing cards, temperance in your immediate future, integration, synthesis, combination. So with that, experiencing wholeness, bringing parts together, achieving dynamic balance, combining, creating synthesis, joining together, working in unison. You're emotionally concerned about that? Being involved, contributing, healing, rendering a service, using a gift or talent, sharing what you have, giving of yourself, feeling engaged, being active. Maybe you're uh, feeling uh, you're not uh, what people think you are, or you're like, accept me for who I am, and people are like, we we're trying, but we thought you were this, and you're like, well, I didn't mean to give you that idea that I am this way, then why'd you act that way? I was just trying to be a good person or whatever. That That's just an example of what I'm trying to, or what I'm getting a reading about. Environmental factors, how others see you, Virgo, in May of 2020. Knight of Wands. That's Aries. Charming or superficial, adventurous or restless, self confident or cocky, passionate or hot tempered, daring or foolhardy, is physically attractive or focuses on style and appearance. Totally lacks self-doubt or overestimates abilities. Or risk anything without fear or is reckless and rash. Loves travel and new experience or is never content to be still. Is easily roused to action or angers easily. That's how people see you or that's your environmental factors. May, Virgo. Your hopes, what you really wish for, Virgo, in May of 2020. Three cups in reverse, half the power, half the power, half the meaning, half full, half empty. Or the opposite of what I'm saying. That's up to you. Perception is yours. Three of cups. Three of cups. Exuberance, friendship, community.
Reinforcing cards, immediate future, temperance, joining forces, working together. Once again, down here, your emotional concerns. You you want to you want to be what they want. So taking taking part in a support group, developing a team spirit, working together, uni uniting with others, forming a group bond, helping each other, discovering a common goal, being neighborly. Getting together with people you like, experiencing camaraderie, extending, receiving hospitality, sharing, finding companions, trusting others, relying on outside help. But remember, it's in reverse that three of cups, so it could be the opposite of what that what you wish you know you wish for. No, I don't want that. It's the opposite of that. Outcome, answer your question, Virgo, in May of 2020. Ace of Wands. New desires, burning new passion. Creative force, enthusiasm, confidence, courage, inventing a better way, believing in yourself, tackling a challenging task, feeling fired up and eager. Additional clues and guidance about the reading Virgo in May of 2020. Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, that's Gemini. King of Pentacles, Capricorn. King of Swords in reverse, that's Aquarius. Top of the deck, Two of Swords. Bottom of the deck, the Moon in reverse. Nine of Pentacles, Discipline, Self-Reliance, Refinement, Exercising Self-Control, Achieving a Comfortable Lifestyle, Handling the Situation Alone, Knight of Swords, Direct or Blunt, Knowledgeable or Opinionated, Authoritative or overbearing, logical or unfeeling, incisive or cutting, is frank and outspoken or is tactless and rude, speaks with assurance or tends to be domineering, has a keen forceful intellect or is prone to biting sarcasm, knows what he or she is talking about or believes he or she is always right, reasons clearly or undervalues intuition, king of pentacles, Enterprising, adapt, reliable, supporting, steady. Makes any venture successful, encourages the accomplishments of others, is informed about practical matters, works together, works toward, not together, works toward a goal with firm resolve. Meets all commitments and promises. King of Swords. In reverse. Intellectual, analytical, articulate, just, ethical, is comfortable in the world of the mind, renders honest, insightful judgments, cuts through confusion and mental fog, is a moral, ethical, ethical leader, is adept at language and verbal skills, two of swords, blocked emotions, avoided, stalemate, Reinforcing cards, some possibilities of the moon, self-deception, not seeing the truth.
So with that, avoiding the truth, refusing to look at facts, pretending everything's fine, ignoring the warning signs, closing your eyes to what's going on, avoiding an unpleasantness, choosing not to know. And then the moon, it's in reverse though. Fear, illusion, imagination, bewilderment. With the two of swords, reinforcing self-deception, not seeing the truth. Accepting a false picture, deceiving yourself, having unrealistic ideas. Misapprehending the truth. Experiencing distortions, chasing after a fantasy. Alright, now we do something a little different. We got two decks here for the ego and the shadow uh, self uh, from the Jung for psychology. From the ego, why is this page of wands here in the current situation, Virgo in May of 2020? <coughs> Five of chalices. The child's empty loss of love is part of life and can feel like death. The world becomes barren and cold. There is a desire to quickly refill it with whatever is at hand. This is usually not a good idea. From the shadow, why is this page of wands here in the current situation? Virgo in May of 2020. Three of Swords. So for this deck, it's a little different. It just tells you what each number or sign means, other than the major arcanas, and then it tells you what the four minor arcanas are about. So, like for instance, threes are the grimoire falls open to natural magic, to creativity, to union. That's what threes mean. But then it's of Swords. And swords are demons and represent thoughts and the element of air corresponding to our own intellectual century with the mind and its potential. It, thoughts escape our control. They can become obsessions taking the form of demons that enslave the mind. And then we have, what did we have? Seven of Wands. From the ego, why is the Seven of Wands here influence helpful or challenging energies? Virgo in May of 2020. Ace of Chalices. The chalice recognized you desire reconnection with the divine, either directly or through connection with others. That desire guides you through your journey. Embrace all that satisfies it. Reject all that does not. From the shadow lies the seven of wands here in influence or helpful or challenging energies. Virgo in May of 2020. Two of Swords. Two represent diverse energies face off in the depths, obstacles, a critical point, accumulation. Swords or demons represent thoughts in the element of air corresponding to our own intellectual century with the mind and its potential. If thoughts escape our control, they can become obsessions taking the form of demons that enslave the mind. From the ego, why is the page of swords here in the basis of situation past issues? Virgo in May of 2020. Six of spheres.
The sphere shared. When the energy is hidden away, it vanishes. When it is shared, it increases. Moving energy resources like this creates beauty and sweetness in the hearts of others in the, wor in the world. From the shadow lies the page of swords here in the basis of the situation, past issues, Virgo in May of 2020. The High Priestess. The Wise Woman holds the nocturnal knowledge of the world of dreams and jealousy guards the book of incantations. Every waterway sustains witches who float even in, if bound. From the Eagle lies the Ten of Swords here in the immediate past, Virgo, May of 2020. The Empress. Mother of Hope, you have been given a wondrous gift. This great honor brings with it the responsibility of nurturing that gift. Receive this gift with your whole being, allowing it to fill you with hope. From the shadow lies the Ten of Swords here in the immediate past for Virgo in May of 2020. The Hierophant. The High Priest Xanthu invokes his god Thogitha. The Thogitha. Against the tyrant Gantanothoa on the lost continent of Mu, this arrogant gesture will provoke the ire of the Old Ones and the destruction of Mu, which will sink into eastern oceans. He grasps the Xanthu tablets tightly to his breast, but even this grimoire brings with it the terrible destiny of he who desired power. From the ego, why is the Queen of Cups here in Crowning Thoughts for Virgo in May of 2020? The Hangman, or Hanging Man. The Lady of Visions, drinking deeply from the mysteries of life, helps reconnect us with the divine. The cost is fear, but the gift is wisdom. Once we give ourselves up to mysteries, our understanding is changed forever. From the shadow lies the Queen of Cups here in Crowning Thoughts, Virgo, in May of 2020. Nine of Pentacles. Nines mean the experience produced abundance, wholeness, but perhaps also isolation and crisis. Pentacles are shadows and represent matter and the element of the earth corresponding to our own physical century, the body, its needs, and the material that surrounds it. Amidst the shadows grow attachments of men who identify themselves with their body and with the objects they possess. From the ego, why is temperance in reverse here in the immediate future for Virgo in May of 2020?
justice the guardian of order justice guards the laws of the universe the outcome of her actions is based mainly on what you put into the scales the laws are neutral. Your actions carry the flavor of the consequences. From the shadow, why is the tempers in reverse here in the immediate future? From the shadow, why is the tempers in reverse here in the immediate future, Virgo, in May of 2020? Nine of chalices. Nines represent the experience produced abundance, wholeness, but perhaps also isolation and crisis. Chalices are dreams and represent emotions and the element of water, corresponding to your own emotional century, joys and pains. Dreams are delicate and are held in the heart like wine in a chalice. Dreams sometimes well and overflow like tears in our eyes when we are moved. From the ego lies the world here and your fears and emotional concerns regarding the situation. Virgo in May of 2020. Griffin of Swords. Sword in action, combining a noble truth with action is the best way to honor that truth. A close held belief is almost meaningless unless it is manifest in the world through your actions. From the shadow lies the world here in fears, emotional concerns regarding the situation, Virgo, in May of 2020. Three of Pentacles. Threes represent the grimoire falls open to natural magic, to creativity, to union. Pinnacles are shadows and represent matter and the element of the earth, corresponding to our own physical century, the body, its needs, and the material that surrounds it. Amidst the shadows grow attachments of men who identify themselves with their body and with the objects they possess. From the ego, why is this knight of wands here in environmental factors? How others see you, Virgo, in May of 2020. Chariot. The eternal soldier on the journey to remember to reconnect, always be vigilant. Protect yourself from that which would distract you from your journey. Do not be afraid to slay your ego when it pulls back in fear. From the shadow lies the Knight of Wands here in Environmental Factors, How Others See You, Virgo, in May of 2020. Five of Swords. Five represent there is the opportunity to move on to a higher level of consciousness, but there is also uncertainty and difficulty in abandoning personal convictions. Swords are demons and represent thoughts in the element of air, corresponding to our own intellectual century. With the mind and its potential, if thoughts escape our control, they can become obsessions, taking the form of demons that enslave the mind. From the ego lies the three of cups here in your wit, wit, hopes, what you really wish for, Virgo, May of 2020. 
Phoenix of Chalices. The Chalice Renewed. Love as expressed between two people may change or even die. My experience in the pain of loss and practicing emotional maturity. Love in a heart is reborn. Free to find new expressions in the world. From the shadow lies the Three of Cups here. And your wishes or your hopes, what you really wish for, Virgo, in May of 2020. Six of Swords. Six represent analysis of the situation, reflection, or nest. Reflections are necessary before deciding. And then swords are demons and represent thoughts and the element of air corresponding to our own intellectual century. With the mind and its potential, if thoughts escape our control, they can become obsessions taking the forms of demons and enslave the mind. Why is the Ace of Wands here in Outcome Virgo in May of 2020? Griffin of Bucks. The confusing book. You have some understanding or blurry version of what you want to do, but the full picture isn't clear yet. That's okay. Start acting based on what you know. Clarity will come. From the shadow lies the Ace of Wands here in the outcome, Virgo, May of 2020. And tower. The monstrous Cthulhu, with its blob-like octopus head, has reawakened. It now wraps its flaccid body and tentacles around the tower, which collapses under the blows of the horror that came from the stars to wait in the shadows. Now we do Isis Oracle from the Ego. Was the Isis Oracle? What is the meaning, underlying energies of the entire reading for Virgo in May of 2020? Magic and ritual. Effect is the effect in the external world can be created through inner practice. Magic and ritual can support your divine path now in the physical world, and you are encouraged to enhance your power with regular practice. The results that you experience will encourage you to continue with the practice as you grow in power, grace, love, ability, and wisdom, and apply your inner beauty to transform your outer world. For us to grow empowered and potent on the path of ancient feminine power, we need to honor our knowing and being and cultivate sacred practice. Sacred practice becomes a habit of growing our spiritual power and consciousness. Like a garden needing regular care and watering to blossom and flourish, our inner garden of the soul where our creativity, joy, spiritual gifts, and bliss bubble away also needs regular attention. Coming to our practice takes strength and inner will. Even though it can feel amazing, we still have to wake up, set aside time and discipline ourselves to show up for our own inner growth. We will reap the benefits when we do, but we must allow ourselves to fall in love with 
our practice to craft something that really speaks to us so that we want to do it. The desire and the discipline together help us engage with our practice regularly and we can grow so fast it can be quite shocking. When an initiate shows particular promise, higher guidance will often encourage that they develop a regular practice to hone their spiritual and creative abilities and more fully manifest their divine potential. They will grow faster and stronger spiritually and be able to step into spiritual healing and leadership to greater effect. You are one such soul, dear initiate, and you are being guided to prepare for this growth in authority now with your sacred practice. This oracle is guidance that you have to do, sorry, that you do have great power and wisdom within you, but you need to provide channels for it to flow and be active and empowered in your physical life. Sacred practice is such a channel. Without these channels, the ego is left to create on its own, with, which is not much fun at all. The ego believes in fear and separation no matter how much it may want to feel love, bliss, connection, joy, and fulfillment. You really cannot do it without your spiritual presence in life, ritual, and magic. As a form of sacred practice are recommended for you as a way to bring more spiritual presence into your waking life to heal and support the ego as you learn to create a life that feels better and brings you and others more fulfillment. Sacred practice with magic and ritual may involve any of the guided exercises in this oracle. Choose what feels good for you. An experiment with what might be a regular pattern of practice for you. You are worth the effort. Remember, whatever effort you do put in will be repaid to you in wonderful benefits many many times over. Once you experience these effects, and it may, might only take a day or a week or two for the effect to show itself, you will be more committed to, to continue. The effects are cumulative. As you continue to practice, the positive effects continue to grow. If you have recently stated, started sacred practices, Oracle is confirmation that it is working well for you and you should not to give up if you are not seeing the results that you had hoped for, they are coming to you fast. This oracle is also confirmation that if you are considering making an adjustment in your sacred practice, it might be time to do so, provided that you don't dismiss the gains you have already made with your current practice and you remember that sometimes small changes can have big effect. Ritual and magic practice with clear intent to be of service to the highest good and to manifest through unconditional love accelerates your power and growth, particularly when it is based on what your heart truly desires. It might be about connecting more with your body, about stealing your mind and expressing your voice or creativity. An example of a practice is outlined now, but it is simply an example. As long as your practice includes invocation or prayer to divine forces of unconditional love, provides a structure through which divine energy can flow and it feels natural and right for you then it will work for you. Please note that if you have pulled the pillar of light card together with this one, then including that ritual as the heart of your practice is recommended at this time. And from the shadow, Divine Oracle Circus, Divine Circus Oracle, what is the overall meaning, underlying energies, lessons, meet, uh, messages, guidance for the entire reading, Virgo, in May of 2020? Clown of Crossroads. Number 32. Opportunity is upon you, though it may seem like a farewell to what you have known. This chance is a crossroad, a time when you can go left or right. You cannot continue with everything as it has been. And this means that something will have to be released for something else to begin. It's time for you to take your chances and make a choice. The Clown of Crossroads card comes to you when you are at a choice point. 
a time for you to make a decision and realize that your life does not have to continue on as it has been anymore. You are at a pattern breaking, life changing moment or soon will be. Of course you can try to continue with the status quo, keeping things the same as they are now for as long as you can. However, in doing so, you will be saying no to the pathway opening up for you, leading to a different life ahead. In nature, all things must grow. What is suitable for one phase of development might be unduly constraining or inadequately stimulating for the next phase of growth. When the clown of crossroads comes to you, she tells you that it is time for a new phase of life to begin. You cannot continue on without making a clear choice, a commitment to what matters to you, a decision to see something through or to let it go once and for all. Be patient as you feel for the truth of your choice, whilst remaining courageous enough not to procrastinate and become stuck in the indecision. The crossroads often means leaving something behind as a rite of passage. You cannot take your whole life with you into new territory. Certain people may be able to change and grow along with you, but others, relationships, situations, or circumstances will have to be sacrificed on the altar of new life. This can be difficult, and you must honor your loss, whilst at the same time remembering that it is for a sacred purpose which will ultimately bring you greater joy. For now you are in mourning for a mourning. There is, a letting, there is the letting go and releasing in readiness for a new beginning. You may feel excited and sad. If you are grieving, know that your tears are cleansing you, freeing you from the past and watering the new seeds in your garden of life. If you are already at the point of excitement, but perhaps also fear as you contemplate the risk of leaping into an unknown destiny, take heart. It is your time to leap, and when the timing is right, whomever and whatever is required to catch you at the other side of your leap shall be there. Alright, Druidcraft Tarot Deck. What is the overall meaning on knowing energies of the Celtic Cross spread? Why are the cards laid out in the way they are for Virgo in May of 2020? Four of Pentacles. Financial planning, building a business, using the power of earth wisely will ensure a strong foundation. A preoccupation with accumulation may be to protect yourself from feelings of inner loss and inadequacy, loss of compassion, withholding affection in relationships, greed and miserlessness, a sense of safety, security, and inner strength. What is the overall meaning on all the energies of the Celtic staff? Why are the cards laid out in the way they are for Virgo in May of 2020 in the Celtic staff? Five of Pentacles. Material hardship or a crisis, caution is needed in making this interpretation. Dissolution and coagulation, process of breaking down or loss is as necessary as the process of building up or gain. What is the overall meaning underlying energies of the entire reading? Why is the Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the King of Swords in reverse here in additional clues and guidance? Virgo, May of 2020. Ten of Swords in reverse.
An opportunity for liberation and change may not last long, so act quickly. The ultimate battle is with an aspect of your inner condition, and now is the time to work with it consciously, perhaps with the clarity of your renewed strength and insight. Sacred Indian Tarot. What's the overall meaning? Underlying energies of the entire reading. Guidance, clues, lessons, messages. Virgo in May of 2020. The Hierophant in reverse. An imbalance in the energy flow can make one inflexible, dominating, and egotistical, causing a self-righteous attitude. The card is a wake-up call to awaken the Hierophant, the spiritual teacher, or the divine light within. A Hierophant can be a teacher you seek, or it can be your own inner spiritual teacher. The Atman is a physical term used in Hinduism to identify the soul. Atman is the individual soul in essence, but also a microscopic form of the absolute universal universality, that which is Brahman. The Atman can ascend beyond the current realms when freed from all restraints of the mind and body. Vedic literature suggests that there is a single essence, Brahman, that underlies all existence and animates all living beings. A person's realization of the identity and unity of Atman and Brahman is believed to bring about liberation. Sacred Activations Oracle Deck. What's the overall meaning? Underlying energies of the entire reading. What's the message for Virgo in May of 2020? Empowerment. Six the frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up truly and completely, uniting us with others in the deep trust that we are all we all are connected through the same source. Empowerment refers to the process of enabling or giving power to, and we typically associate power with strength. And the new energy, however, strength not only refers to the totality of everything that makes us strong on the outside like our physical form and shape but includes the inner qualities of wisdom balance flexibility adaptability adaptability and courage our true power is deeply rooted in our knowing of who we are our connection to source and self when we are clear about who we are we can be clear about what we are here to do this clarity is empowering empowering in the in the empowerment image, we can we see human shapes with their arms over their head, referring to the state of completeness that every human can reach on their own. They also show us the power of our connection, because we are all connected to the same source. 
we can overcome any perceived differences and combine our power toward a more conscious reality. All the shades and graduations of blue refer to our ability to express ourselves in the world. Blue is also considered to be the color of truth. The red in the center refers to our ability to ground and identify ourselves in the physical world. Red stimulates courage, strength, power, and determination. And the yellow balls emerging from the middle refer to the inner power that flows from our center onto the grid of the flower of life, the basis of our form-based reality. White Light Oracle What's the message? Meaning of all the cards laid out for of this spread and this reading for Virgo. White Light Oracle May of twenty twenty. Spirit Bear of 396 Hertz. Number 15. You are being held from guilt and fear. Such emotions will no longer steal your personal power or dissuade you from confidence, happiness, and realizing your own worth. No matter how unlikely it may seem, you are going to emerge from a spiritual winter into light and life. The divinely ordained time for your liberation, healing, and emergence is much closer than you realize. Abundant blessings are stirring and shall soon manifest. The frequency of 396 Hertz is deeply nurturing and protective. It is the heart frequency of the Universal Mother protecting her young deflecting negativity and refusing to overly condition the youthful mind. She looks out for them and provides warnings le lest they wander too far from their authentic path. But she also encourages the child to learn who they are, to courageously explore their world and to enjoy their freedom. And ir irrespective of our personal experience with our biological mother, the Divine Mother energy in the soul is loving, protective, available, and kind. This inner mother love enables us to develop our own sense of personal value, belonging, and home. In connection with the inner Divine Mother, we feel loved, wanted, and held. We know ourselves well enough to understand what we need, and we value ourselves enough to live in which a way that our needs are met. We recognize that we matter, not more than any other, but enough to feel self-love and self-respect. We can connect to our authentic life path because we feel worthy of it. This nurturing frequency heals the heart and softens the walls which keep love out. Due to past abandonment and betrayal, when we are more open to life, the path of fruition becomes more accessible and direct. When we connect with our authentic path, we can access the abundance of spiritual support available to us and make the most spiritual progress. That guidance may arise as a no or a not right now or as a yes and go for it. When we are in the heart, we will clearly sense much guidance and take comfort in it rather than fight against it. As we let go of our defense systems, disa disabling fear and guilt from running our lives and instead deal with them as occasional interloopers that need to be cleared and healed, we stop fearing we will never have what we generally want and need. We stop fearing that. We realize we are loved know how to love and are naturally innately beings of love. This frequency helps the body to ground. It helps the mind settle into the body rather than constantly fitting flitting fitting from one possibility to the next, creating excitement but also an excess of nervous energy. It helps the mind and body play nicely with each other, supporting each other rather than opposing each other. Then your mind won't be constantly har h-a-r-a-n-g-u-i-n-g haranguring harang har 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 
harangering your body, leaving it feeling bad about itself, tired or unhappy or even angry and rebellious. In these and other ways, the 396 hertz frequency helps right, reconcile the push-pull of competing interests, integrating awareness in the heart and providing a clear pathway to a transcendent re resolution where all is working for the one higher purpose. This frequency harmonizes beautifully with the spiritual medicine of the bare soul totem. It encourages our natural ability to find the sweetness in life necessary to sustain hope and heal our hearts. Spirit Bear connects us to the restorative power of hibernation, that deep rest of body and mind. If you are highly strong and, like many modern people, find it hard to consciously relax your body and mind through spiritual practices, Spirit Bear brings the comfort and encouragement to allow your mind to rest within the body. It is as if the mind were in a cave for renewal, safe from predators and external forces, undisturbed and able to rest. This oracle urges you to go within, where there is a tremendous healing force awakening. Give it the time and space it needs to do its best work for you. And this is where we get the uh, title of your video. Wisdom of the Oracle. What is the message, underlying energies, overall meaning of the entire reading? And guidance, Virgo, May 2020. Peace. Number 23. Essential meanings. Freedom from attachment. Radical acceptance. The Oracle's message. It doesn't get any better than this. The quiet mind. Heart fulfilled. Freedom from want and the soul's satisfaction. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. Enjoy it. Relationship message. When two people are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. They are as a two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours and it is to be savored. Prosperity message. This is one of those times when you're capable of clear vision about your work and how you create your prosperity. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You're called by a presence to step into your power. Just being is enough, for you are in peaceful harmony with spirit and it shows in your work. Protection message. Now is the time for calmness and well-being in spite of temporary conditions, even if there are dison dissonant notes in the music of your life. All that means is that you must go within and fine-tune the extraordinary instrument that you are. Find harmony within yourself and don't look to the outer world to provide certainty. This too shall pass and once again your life will be filled with beautiful music. And then last but not least, Sacred Power Reading Cards. What's the message? Overall meaning, underlying energies of the entire reading. Why is this Nine of Pentacles? King of Swords, King of Pentacles, or Knight of Swords, King of Pentacles, King of Swords in reverse, Ten of Swords in reverse here, and the additional clues and guidance. Virgo, May of 2020. Change. Wow. 
Like the wind, the universe spiral symbolizes change and growth. The spiral is a sacred symbol that reflects the universal pattern of growth, evolution, the goddess, fertility, and life force energy. Just like the change of seasons, now life is formed after a period of hibernation. Plants know when to shed parts of themselves, dropping their leaves, branches, and seeds at the precise moment. Their natural rhythm is synchronized with their environment. Walking down the road of change allows you to see where you have been and where you are going. This perspective can be confronting, but one needs to recognize past issues and mistakes to make better choices. These learning experiences require you to let go and surrender to your own divine will. Beginnings are often described as painful endings. Accepting your current position in life can offer powerful realizations about your current circumstances. Focus on life changes now. If you insist on making a decision, be patient and seek professional advice to secure solid foundations before the final phase. Right now there is a change in the air. We are moving quickly into the next cycle of your life. This acceleration may feel uncomfortable at first, but it is essential for your progression. Being uncomfortable allows your soul to expand and grow, surrender, and let go of any fear you have surrounding the change required to ensure a smooth transition. Changing your circumstances in career, habits, family, finance, relationships, locations, ideas, and beliefs are all possible now. Be open to possibilities. Just like an eclipse, severe change can be perceived as a negative influence, but in reality it often leads to a more productive, beneficial outcome. Adapting to your new surroundings may take time. Believe, relieve any anxiety by removing your resistance to universal flow. When the winds of change slow down and the dust begins to settle, reflect on how far you have come. Affirmation I move through life with ease, reflecting on each learning experience with love and understanding. I surrender my fear to the universe with freedom. And that's your reading, Virgo. Let me know. Leave a comment. See you next month.